further open that door gets, the harder it goes, but the first 90 degrees is pretty easy and probably won't open it up more than 90 degrees unless I want to back up to it most of the time anyway. I'd rather have the wind block or the block anyway behind me. The idea is to use this first 10 feet of it or so for a shop, then store everything else behind that. See if I can get the other door to move easier. The other door is a harder, much harder door to move. English is hard for me today. I think it kind of goes straight. I think it's bowed out on this side. I think mainly between there. I think that problem makes it so these hinges isn't straight with each other anymore. I don't think lubing it's ever going to make it better. I mean, it moves. It works. I was never going to really use it as an entrance door. Oh well. I should fill it up. I'm not going to be able to fix this today or tomorrow or whatever. So. I don't know when that quit recording, but putting that padlock on there is the best part. Cause I didn't like a lot of that stuff being outside and I had no place inside. I got a lot of stuff in the bottom of the bus to put away too, but I don't know how much weight I want to put in that container before I jack up the other side. So I think I'm going to head to the, the uh, lumber yard and see if I can get some blocks to jack up the other the back side with. Then I'll worry about taking weight out of the bus to put in here, but I didn't want that stuff outside and stolen. so. I got everything inside. I probably should move the plywood in, but I forgot about it behind the door till now. And I don't think it's supposed to rain. It's just cloudy. So yeah, as long as it's not gonna rain, I'm gonna leave it out. If not, I'll move it in, but why am I bent over talking to you like that? I got everything inside. There's some straps out there. Yeah, that's our garbage. I have a barrel and that back there, but a couple fire rings. Nothing anyone's gonna steal. I like to see you walk out of here with an IBC toad or one of those iron fire rings. 55 gallon empty drum is probably stealable, but at $10 it's not worth it. That's about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, I'm going to a lumber yard.
said I was going to the hardware store. I forgot I moved to a small town. Um, hardware store closed at 4.30 and it was like, it was a couple minutes to four. I might have had time, but I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted even at that point. It just wasn't gonna work. I needed to, I needed to wait till today. So um, I've thought about it overnight, which is probably best. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use the sono tubes with the concrete. That's just too much work. I'm probably gonna use concrete blocks on the back if I can get solid ones in town here. And uh, on the front here, I think I'm just gonna raise it up like using the two by 12 or something. I just gotta raise it up like an inch and a half just to make sure that the weight is on the, I don't even know where I'm pointing, waiting on the corners and not on, and not on the middle to make sure the door, the reason the door is not working is because it's being supported wrong, so. That's why I just heard somebody. Oh well. There goes me being distracted again. I don't want to work on the doors and then find out the doors worked fine if the container was sitting properly. So today's project is to get the container sitting properly and then, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but, but I should get to the hardware store. News, though, because the reality is most people can't do much about the news anyway. Right. So... Before we left for Colorado this spring, um, that temporary repair Andy did with the coil on the washing machine just to make sure that the washing machine actually worked, failed. Which we knew was going to happen because it was just a temporary recoil. And there are two other coils that were also just as badly corroded that were probably going to break at any time. And I honestly don't know if it was that one that he prepared or the other one. So maybe I shouldn't say his repair failed, but one of the coils failed and that same code popped up and we just knew we were going somewhere where there wasn't going to be any water we weren't going to have access to be able to actually just hook up and run our washing machine and you don't want to drive eight miles to a campground fill up a 55 gallon tank drive back wash some clothes drive back eight miles remember it's just silly so we use the laundromat in uh, granby a lot in colorado and i gotta say I did not use the laundromat in Granby because the one time I used the laundromat in Granby, my clothes came out dirty, even though I extra rinsed and extra washed and I just, mm, I didn't like that. So I uh, made do with a lot of stuff. I hand washed some things. I had a lot of laundry. When I got to Fort Collins, we spent two days in Fort Collins before we left and I did all of my laundry and I took up four washing machines when I included all of my work clothes and my towels and stuff for washing machines like not the giant ones but like the four load six, four load or six load washing machines and my laundry bag is full again my laundry bag is full again so I have decided that since I've been part carting this part around for a good six months I should probably put it in um Andy is not here. He took off. He went to Lowe's. I think he went to Lowe's. Um, God, I miss Menards. Oh, I miss Menards so much. Menards, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but you really should think about branching out a little bit to the south. I know, we could probably drive a couple of hours to Menards, but I don't want to drive a couple of hours to Menards. We had to do that in Colorado. We had to drive up to Cheyenne to go to Menards, and we did like four or five times. We actually drove all the way up to Cheyenne to go, just to go to Menards. Um, so we could probably run up to Paducah and go to Menards because I think that's where the nearest one is. Lowe's is so stinking expensive. It's like ridiculous. Okay, that's totally off topic. <clears throat> because I've been carting this part around for like six months, um, I think I'm just going to go and install it. I haven't really asked Andy to do it because he always says, oh, well, you could do it. Super easy. So I'm just going to do it. Um, and do some laundry because I could really stand to uh, wash some of my clothes. I don't even know if you can see me. It's a 
beautiful outside today. It's supposed to be like almost 60 today. I'm going to say in the sun, it's probably already 60 today. It's absolutely beautiful. Although, it's supposed to be damn near 60 for Christmas in Minnesota this year, so whatever. Okay, so I guess I won't be working on the washing machine because I can't actually loosen the bolt that is holding the cover on to put the part in. I gotta take the cover off to take the old part off and I can't get the bolt loose because Andy has tightened it so well that I can't get it loose. I don't have the grip strength or the upper body strength that he has got, so I, I guess maybe he does get to replace it. Should have kept you going, that was fast. $30 cash, got me 12 blocks. Let's get home. I forgot, I gotta go to the dump. What am I doing? It's not what I want to turn at. I rolled down the window and I could smell the garbage.
I didn't realize I didn't have the curtain open. I thought when I opened the door you'd see me, it was just dark. I'm done. Oh well, time to go. Sounds like I need to put a U-joint or two in this thing. Heard that clunk the other day too. I felt the vibration at like 82, 83 miles an hour, come on. On the way home from Nashville yesterday. So, um, Andy's back. Um, Andy's actually been back for a while, but I know how to procrastinate. Um, and he needed to eat. But he told me that I could not ever do it without an impact. So he found me an impact, and we'll see if I can do it. Could not ever. <laughs> I don't have the arm strength to ever. Okay, let's see. Not even about arm strength. In that magnet part of the motor, you'll see the nut spins. You thinking maybe I could? Yeah, it's the holding of the. Other I know. Part. The impact of holding. I, I can't. Be a camera person, if you'd like. And I wasn't sure if I. Oh, yeah, tried I don't, it the other direction. And I don't remember if it's righty tighty or lefty tighty on this one. Is this gonna? Okay. You don't remember. No, so I. I feel like one of them was. Seems like something was, if anything's left hand thread, this is not the left hand thread. Did that do anything? I don't know, you weren't on it very long. That, did that was left hand thread. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, that came off, thank you. It's just, it's got the magnet, right? Yeah. It's just, it's just the magnets you're trying to pull against. So even though you think it wiggles, it's like, why isn't this coming loose? It's a big ring of magnets. <coughs> How do I get it out of here? I pulled, I pulled on it I, and it came yeah, out. Yeah, that's not, that's not happening. That's not happening. <laughs> you sure? I'm sure. Not for me anyways. Yeah, watch your head there. behind it on the bottom here. Oh, yeah, right you. right here you could get behind it. I guess all the way over to here you could. So these are smaller. And it's missing one. It's broken off. Oh yeah, okay. It but this is broken. smaller. What size is this? I don't remember. Oh it's the washer dishwasher. Hmm. Oh, Where's water coming from? What is smaller than a seven sixteen? Three ace. Ten millimeter is too. Like I said, my tools are mixed between three piles right now. It's oh an absolute God. disaster. You suck. I couldn't wait to get a container here so I get my tools organized. Now I got a container. Now I just need a, a night that's not in the 20s to come out and work on it. Which I think we're done with that cold weather now. I think it's back to what it's supposed to be. Nine.
Want me to go look somewhere else? Um. For either a three ace or a ten. It's got to be ten. one. Okay. That should be a three ace. That doesn't fit. Oh, wrong end. <laughs> that ends a three ace. Okay, I'd use the impact again, but you know, I like power tools. I know you do. <laughs> Someone didn't eat her Wheaties this morning. Uh -huh. Even if I had more to grip than a nub. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, the camera, I can't do it one handed. Uh, I don't like this ratchet. Well, I couldn't find another one. I got it. You I had the van. I had to so. walk to a screwdriver and it came right off. You got it on this one? I guess so. Oh, I forgot to unplug that. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that part too because it came broken on the new one, so the part on the motor needs to be swapped over. What? The connector part on the motor needs to be swapped over. It came broken on the new one. This part? Yeah, I think that was it. Maybe it was a Hall effect switch that was broken. Something was broken when I opened it up. Three months ago, or whatever. And, and it was. you said it was something we didn't need. Yeah, it was something we didn't need. I thought I don't remember if it's that little 90 degree connector swapper or if it's the. Uh, now that I think about it, it, might be the Hall effect switch. Yeah, it's not that one. That one's on. It was something that was not connected to it. Yeah. It's not attached. Yeah, I was kind of surprised because when I, all my research told me the Hall effect switch is probably the problem or the connector for it. And then I opened it up and it didn't exist, and I was all confused. I don't know how it works without it when most of them have it. But. Pretty new one. That's tight. I can't get that. Thank you. Hold this or let go of it? I didn't know you got it that far together. I guess we'll try to go the rest of the way. <clears throat> that side's clicked in. Oh, that side just clicked in. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Here. Oh. locating pin right up next to that one. And this was the one that, ooh. Yeah, the three o'clock one. Doesn't have a. Had a Bobby Brown line or something like three o'clock on the dot. I don't know how the rest of the line goes. I have no idea. Something is clicking in my brain from. <laughs> Bobby Brown. close to the door. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what did that. Was just that probably it got moved that. too close to the door. With the table saw and stuff on the other side of it is probably when I did it. 
Thank you for your help with the tools. Because I wasn't getting that by hand and I didn't know where your impact was or what I was even looking for. So. Hey, look at all that bubble wrap. Oh, I could have used that. Nice. Oh, I still could. This would be a good box to send to Moses. And the girls. So that. What? Yeah. Drainage wise, I'm trying to decide how we want to do this here. I mean, I don't mind a drain on the ground, it's just that that's not the ideal spot for draining the ground. Because it's going to come this way. Oh. I got a spring level somewhere, that would tell me. Just walking back here might tell me. Walk downhill. You can send it that way too. If I hit this little info button, info, it won't let me, it won't bring that up unless I turn it off. Once you figure out the, the what you call it. Oh my gosh. I want to go back on. Did you get it off of there? Yeah. Um, once you figure out the drainage, then I'm going to do some laundry. I mean you could do laundry now. A couple five gallon buckets. First thing you do is overflow. Yeah, I know. The dishwasher's still running right now. Um, I got a level of container. Okay. What are you up to? Um, I have some editing to do. Okay. And we have to do a little bit of talking. Okay. For the camera. Um, I don't know when you want to do that. Okay, whatever. 